Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. Under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Bayan School's Board of Trustees, in coordination with Al Khalidiyah Youth Society, a ceremony at Bahrain Bayan School was held yesterday, celebrating the accomplishments of remarkable Bahraini women. During the ceremony, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed noted that women's advancement is a vital component of Bahrain's ongoing development efforts, led by His Majesty the King. He highlighted the important role of the Supreme Council of Women, the SCW, led by Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King, in supporting women's advancement at all levels. The chairman of the Bahrain Bayan School, Dr. Sheikh Ahmed bin Suleiman Al Taibi, thanked His Highness Sheikh Mohammed for patronising the event, which recognises Bahraini women's accomplishments across all sectors, and extended her congratulations to all women on the occasion of International Women's Day. The president of Bahrain's Journalists Association, Adia Ahmed Al Said, highlighted the kingdom's achievements in promoting women's full participation in all aspects of development, noting that Bahrain has been pioneering women advancement at all levels. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed presented awards to the following women in recognition of their achievements. Representatives Council Speaker, Fazia Senal. Her Highness Sheikh Anayla bin Hamid bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. Sheikh Hassan bin Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Sheikh Aisha bin Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Dr. Fatima bin Muhammad Al Belushi, Amna Ahmed Rashid Al Rumehi, Adia Ahmed Al Said, Dr. Suwid Al Amr, Rida Muhammad Sabd, Ria Saleh, Abiyah Salum, Asma Jafar. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa patronised the inauguration of the Royal Hospital for Women and Children in Rifa in the presence of the President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, along with senior officials and other invitees from Bahrain and abroad. The Deputy Premier said private investment in the health sector reflects investors' confidence in Bahrain's legislative and regulated environment and facilitate licensing of the operation of health establishments as part of the government's strategy of transforming Bahrain into the region's medical tourism hub. Sheikh Khalid commended the recent development accomplishments in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, such as effective private-public partnership in all fields. He called for the expansion of such partnerships to cover health sector based on the needs of the industry and to explore the potential investment opportunities in it in order to achieve the objectives of the Government Action Plan 2019-2022. to Sheikh Khalid marked the occasion by congratulating the hospital board chairman and directors as well as its staff and wished them success. Sheikh Khalid then toured the hospital's facilities which include high-tech ICU, maternity wards, daycare and theatre rooms.
The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Faisi Ibn Abdullah Senal, expressed his sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa for issuing the Royal Decree that establishes Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa Award for Bahraini Women Advancement, which affirms the success of the Royal Vision in supporting Bahraini women and their clear contributions and outstanding efficiency in assuming all responsibilities and positions in various fields in light of the Comprehensive Development March. Zanal affirmed that the Royal Decree strengthens the Kingdom's position that changed from empowering Bahraini women to advancing them, affirming that this achievement is a result of the efforts of Her Royal Highness, the wife of the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and Her Royal Highness's support and follow up on Bahraini women's progress. Zanel also congratulated all women in Bahrain on the occasion and noted that the award received respect and praise regionally and internationally asserting the Council's support to all Bahraini women advancement fields. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for issuing Royal Order 17 of 2019, renaming Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Award for Bahraini Women Empowerment as Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Award for Bahraini Women Advancement. He hailed His Majesty the King's support to Bahraini women out of firm belief in their crucial role and contributions to national development, whose success relies on balanced partnership between women and man and principle of equal opportunities. He healed the Royal Order, which signalled Bahrain's successful transition from the phase of women's empowerment to that of advancement, having strategies which promote Bahraini women's status. He paid tribute to Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, and her efforts to promote women-related programmes. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, yesterday inaugurated the Art Expo Abda at Al Ayam Printing and Publishing House Hall. The event is organised by the Be an Artist Group, with the participation of many plastic artists from Bahrain and GCC countries. The Minister toured the exhibition and expressed his admiration of the outstanding artistic artworks that reflect the creativity of the participating artists and their obvious craftsmanship in expressing the messages they want to convey through exquisite paintings and drawings. He affirmed that Ebdath reflects the tremendous care accorded to plastic art and constitutes an important platform for talented artists to meet and contribute to the plastic art movement in Bahrain and the GCC countries and to advance it to the highest levels. Sheikh Khalid thanked the Be an Artist group and all the organisers of this event for the greater efforts and bringing out the honourable image of Bahrain and reflecting its ability to host various regional and international events, wishing them every success. The participating artists expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister for his patronage of the event and constantly supporting and encouraging them to continue their artwork. On behalf of the National Guard Commander, General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the National Guard Staff Director, Major General Sheikh Abdulaziz bin Saud Al Khalifa, attended the conclusion of the Joint Commands Drill, Tawun 4. The drill aimed at protecting the oil installations between Bahrain National Guard and its Kuwaiti counterpart in the presence of the Kuwait National Guard's Undersecretary, Lieutenant General Hashim Abdulaziz Al Rafai. Sheikh Abdulaziz pointed out that the exercise is very important as it increases the level of readiness and security vigilance in the protection of oil installations. He stressed that this drill reflects the depth of military cooperation between the two branches of the National Guard in the Kingdom and Kuwait and the advanced level of experiences exchanged between the two military systems. He also stressed that the joint military action between Kuwait National Guard and its Bahraini counterpart comes in implementation of protocols of cooperation signed between the two sides, reflecting the depth of relations between the two countries. <laughs>